i7 iRobot by Roomba. Looks pretty cool. I like the words. You like mm. me. Okay, it's illuminated. Ooh. Illumination. Why is she doing all the cleaning and you're just standing around dancing and eating food? Probably making more mess. Alright guys, we gotta talk about it. Before I do this unboxing, let's just face it. As children, we did not like having to clean up. I didn't like having to clean up when I was growing up. My kids don't like cleaning up now that they're growing up and I'm trying to pass along all the things that I've learned and it's yeah it's a nightmare it's so hard to try and get my kids to clean they act like you're telling them to jump off of a bridge or something it's crazy they um yeah they're they're almost helpless <laughs> they're almost it's almost hopeless but um Nevertheless, they have to learn chores, they have to learn responsibility, and I, even though I try my best to teach them, um, they're only going to do so much, right, around the house. They're only going to be able to do so much. I mean, heck, my, my, my oldest daughter is only, is only six, and the middle child, um, she's only four, so... You know, they can only do so much. They're not to the point yet where they're like self-sufficient and sustainable um, and keeping up with their own cleanliness. I have to constantly get on them and tell them that, hey, you left this here or, hey, you made a mess there, you know, clean it up. They love to jump on the couch, even with their shoes on sometimes, and I just got to jump on them. You know, I got to stay on them. I got to put the foot down. But they're getting better. They're getting better. Um, it will come with time and um, chores and responsibility. All that will come. But with all that said, getting this vacuum cleaner is going to be a game changer because it's going to help them dramatically. They still have to clean up their own messes, but this vacuum cleaner, this i7 by Roomba, is going to definitely help for sure in giving me some sanity um i'm not like a clean freak but it does bother me a lot when i see people not really having any respect for their own things uh especially when it's in my own house so yeah anyways all that's out of the way i just wanted to show my kids trying and attempting to clean up with a regular vacuum cleaner it's hilarious to watch um 
And I also wanted to show like how dirty our house was uh, before we got this thing because there's just crap everywhere because they just don't clean often enough. Anyways, that's enough ranting from me. Let's get on with the show. I hope you enjoy this unboxing. If you do, please drop a comment down below and let me know that you did. And make sure that you go ahead and press that like button and subscribe for me if videos like this interest you or any of my other videos on my channel interest you. I really appreciate the support. Thanks so much and enjoy. i7 iRobot by Roma. Um, I think I'm saying that name right. Who makes this thing? Whoever this company is right here. I think it's called Roma. I'm not really into the like latest and greatest of um, smart robots, vacuum cleaners, but uh, yeah. My brother got me one as a gift. Got our family one as a gift, him and his wife did. We really appreciate you for it. Thank you so much. This is gonna help out so much around the house. Obviously, we're still gonna have to sweep the floor and everything, but this thing is gonna like have our back big time. So we are very, very excited to unbox this thing. I have cleaned the floor. I'm also about to mop it. And then I'm going to let this thing rip. So this is what comes in the box. We have here the i7 Plus. Oh, we got the Plus. We didn't just get the i7. We got the i7 Plus by Roomba. The robot vacuum, automatic dirt disposal. It has a robot aspirator. Oh wait, that's just, okay, these are just different languages, never mind. All right, so here we go. Let's get cracked this thing open really fast. I'm not trying to take a long time. Oh, this is the whole box. I thought that was just the top. Whoa. All right, come on out of there. All right, it's a big box. Interesting. Very interesting. So it has its own like docking station where it comes and it docks here while it charges. It ejects all the dirt that it collected and puts it up here into this filtered bag. And then you just throw the bags away, I guess. Or maybe you possibly empty them. I'm assuming you probably throw them away and then just get new ones. Here's the bottom of the vacuum. Looks pretty cool. Here's where it kind of sweeps and collects up the dirt. Uh, I guess right here is where it sucks it in. Looks like some sensors. Interesting. Quick start guide. Oh, it has an iRobot Home app. So there's an application you can put on your phone, so don't lose that. You got this. You got this. And looks like the docking station. extra little sweeper thing or um, that has to be installed. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. I'll have to pull the robot out and see. Alan, you're blocking the camera, bro. You're blocking the camera. You're blocking the camera. Alright, we got a filter here. Hopefully that's an extra one. Here's the docking station uh, collection bag thing. Here's 
here's the actual docking station itself. Ooh, fancy and cool. So there is a bag already in the machine. I'm going to put that back in there. Lock it into place. Simple. Alright. Let's get to the good stuff. Power cord. station. Disposal comes out right here. Um, yeah, it looks like it even kind of scrapes the floor a little bit, so it probably kind of cleans it, semi cleans it. I know they have one of these that has a dry, a dry box, and it has a wet box, so it can actually go around and mop the floor. All right, so. I think wherever you end up putting this thing is where it always wants to come back to. So we're going to stick it right here. that fully charge because you should always let everything fully charge before you use it you don't just pull it out of the box and use it so we'll let that fully charge and then let it rip all right so I went through these quick one two three steps of getting this all plugged in set up I docked the Roomba by putting the magnetic strips on their little docking station I am about to download the iRobot home app and then I can tell it to start cleaning because it already made the little doot 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 sound that it told me it was ready. So it turned off the charging symbol. I guess it does come fully charged but I would still put it on there just in case it didn't. So now I'm going to download the app. 
So on the Google Play Store, guys, you're just gonna type in iRobot Home, install the app, wait for it to install. All right, once that is fully installed, you're gonna open that up and set up your Wi-Fi and your iRomba. Simply gonna tell it that you are wherever your general location is, <laughs> what language you want, press continue, accept all the policy, blah, blah, blah. You can control it from anywhere, view its job history. That's pretty cool. So you can see and track where it went, what it sucked up, and you can schedule it. So cool, we're going to sign up. Just enter your name, create your account. After you press create your account, it's going to send you a link. Go ahead and type in the code. You would get the code from your email that you put in when you signed up. Press continue, allow. It's going to search for robots. Start startup checklist. To start, you'll need to you'll need your start charging station, your robot, and your Wi-Fi password. Okay, so we're gonna get started. This is what I was talking about. Making sure that you wait. What did I say? Um, permanent place where it won't get bumped into. There should be wi good Wi-Fi access. Place on a hard level surface flush against the wall, your robot should have a clear path to come home and go. All right, gonna put in the Wi-Fi password. After you put your password into your Wi-Fi, you're gonna press and hold this little spot on the right side of the clean button. It looks like a bullseye target, uh, crosshairs for a gun or something you're going to press and hold that spot and the home buttons at the same time simultaneously for two seconds you hear the beep you can release press continue that puts it basically in uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth mode or whatever so that it can Go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. It just got a check mark. I guess it's connected now. Verifi verifying my password. Hopefully I put in the right password. Boom, connected. It made a sound that let me know. That's pretty cool. The light went from blue back to white. And now it says that my robot is successfully connected. That is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna name the Roomba, and but we'll just leave it as I7 Roomba. All right, sorry I don't have anything funny to call it. Then, welcome to the world of Roomba. I wish it turned sideways when I turned my phone sideways, but it didn't, so sorry I had to turn this into portrait mode for you guys on a landscape video it looks like the i7 Roomba has a software update okay let's start that we want it to work to the best of its ability so we'll go ahead it says it's going to take 12 minutes so I'll come back after that's done it says while I wait we'll teach you the basics okay that's cool make sure the i7 Roomba is on its charging station during the entire update i7 Roomba is a Roomba i7 Plus Series robot vacuum with automatic dirt disposal. So I guess the Plus Series has the um, has the dirt automatic dirt disposal. 
cleans in systematic rows across the center of rooms and then the edges, okay? Will avoid and re redirect away from stairs, but is able to navigate over thresholds. I-7 robot will return home and recharge and pick up where it left off if its battery runs low. That's pretty cool. Uh, when I-7 Roomba, Roomba's bin is full, it will return to the clean base and empty its bin so you don't have to. Use the app for full control over how and when I-7 Roomba cleans. I Roomba will let you know if it needs maintenance and will even show you how to do it. That's cool too. I said Roomba will learn and create an interactive smart app of smart map of your home while it cleans. That's awesome. Smart maps give you control to tell I7 Roomba to clean specific rooms or targeted areas. Cool deal. So mainly the kitchen and the living area is probably where you want it to clean most and then the bedrooms like once or twice a week. No need to worry if you rearrange furniture, Roomba will adapt to the change. That's also cool. Your update is finishing. It's going to let me know when it's complete. I'm going to pause this and come back when it's done. Here's a tip it's showing right here. Before you clean, let iRoomba charge for about an hour or until its light ring illuminates solid white. So. Yeah, mine just like pretty much went out. It was flashing. The update progress still says it's in progress and it hasn't moved from where it's at. Uh, so I think it's like in some kind of a stuck state. I'm not really sure. I might just bypass this. While you wait, prep your home for iRoomba. So move any large items out of the way. Tap here to start cleaning. So it shows me over here, you can see the battery voltage is only halfway charged. Um, and my Roomba has now illuminated, illuminated back up and it's flashing. So once that flashing stops and it is um, just solid and I know that it's fully charged from looking here in the app, I'll go ahead and tell it to start cleaning everywhere where it says here vacuum everywhere. Um, yeah, but right now it's just doing its updating thing, I guess. I don't know. It never really told me that it was finished updating. I just went ahead and skipped through it. So I don't know if it updated or not.
I will say that it looks pretty beat up compared to uh, when I first took it out of the box. Um, you know, these are probably just fingerprints from my kids, my especially my son touching it. He thinks it's the coolest thing, and he's only one years old, so it's going to be hard teaching him not to mess with it. But, yeah, it's made to hit walls and stuff and kind of figure out, you know, it bumps this little sensor or switch, and the, it knows that, okay, there's something there, and then it turns around and tries again. But I just took it out of this dock station and now it's just sitting here awkwardly in the middle let's see if i press the home button if it will figure out where its home position actually is So now I'm assuming it's charging. It looks to be, let's see. It's hard to really know if it's sitting on those charging pads, but I'm just gonna trust that it is because I see the red light flashing. So yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I just pulled that thing randomly out of there and kind of set it crooked and then pressed the home button. And even the docking station looks like it's been kicked or whatever, it's not really that straight. So. You, I gotta hand it to it, man. It's it's pretty freaking cool how they figured out how to do that. Um, as far as the floor is concerned, it's I guess doing a good job. Um, I will have to come back and make another review in the future because I don't think we've used it long enough to actually know whether or not it's doing a good job. Um, I can go around the house here and just show you. I mean, yeah, we had dirt here and there. You know, like here's still something here. Whether or not that happened from today or whatever, who knows? Um, but yeah, um, for the most part, I'm seeing the floor is pretty clear. It's not too bad. All right, make sure you are checking under this bad boy after it does its thing around your house for the first couple of times because it's gonna be collecting some hair and stuff especially if you your wife or people in your family have long hair it's it's down there on the floor you just don't see it so it's gonna collect on this thing get you a uh let's see how does this come off a little flathead screwdriver or you could just try to rip it off or I wouldn't really pull on it too hard but uh, you could just get a little pair of scissors or a knife and get, get all this off because you don't want to make it hard on the motor that has to spin that This is actually, uh, looks like some of my kids, my little girl's baby doll hair. So yeah, it mixed in with a lot of our, my kids' hair and my wife's hair probably, so. But I can definitely tell you that the pink stuff is the baby doll hair. <laughs> they just got one of those new LOL dolls and yeah. All right, so now it's nice and clean, ready for another round next time it goes. Cool deal. 
you're wondering what the docking station looks like, it's basically simple like this. It's just a bag that goes in here and uh, yeah, all the nasty stuff goes in the hole somehow. And this is pretty much spotless, so it's doing a pretty good job of making sure that the stuff goes in here. And then once you're done, you just hold this like this and it closes off the hole. But let's see how much stuff is inside. It's probably went around my house about, I'd have to check the app, but dude, it's actually, it's pretty gross in there. Let's see if I can, oh my gosh, dude. It's picking up hella stuff. Let's see if I can move it a little bit. Oh man. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's gross. All right, I don't know if I'll show this. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> wow, this thing is picking up so much stuff, guys. That is awesome. I didn't really think it was, you know, doing too much because I had already pre-cleaned the house, but yeah, I guess I didn't really clean nothing. And it still needs a mop. I was supposed to mop it and I didn't mop it. But anyways, yeah, it's doing a great job. Custom cleaning is in the house. Clean where you need it, how you need it. Now you can set cleaning preferences for rooms and zones in new job favorites, schedule, and automations. So, super awesome. Thank, shout out to my brother JJ and his wife Christine for getting us this cool, awesome vacuum. We really do appreciate it. It's such a major help and I am super grateful for it. It's awesome gift. Super awesome gift. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this little opening box video here. Uh, if you found it useful or if you have any questions, comment down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. It really helps me. It supports me on the channel. This is your boy, Sir FPV a lot. And I'm out.